Okay, looks like we're live. Hello, everyone, and good morning. I'm Jesse Meckling, the Director of Education at the Center for Coastal Studies, and this is another cool marine animal that I have seen. Um, this week's theme is just one look, so animals I had a very short uh, glimpse of seeing. And today I'm going to be talking about the first shark I ever saw. Uh, not the first shark I saw while swimming. That was a white tip reef shark, and I've seen many of those over the years while diving. Um, no, this was a shark that I saw um, as a 12-year-old standing atop um, about 45 feet, 15 meters above the water in a crow's nest in the Gulf of California. Um, it swam up to the bow of the boat for a split second, and it was unmistakably uh, unmistakable in its shape, um, for it is probably the most unique-looking shark, or one of the most unique-looking sharks in the world and certainly unforgettable. And of course, I am talking about hammerheads. So let me bring down the presentation. Um, I have attempted to see hammerheads again over the years, um, most notably uh, while diving in the Galapagos. Uh, unfortunately, however, um, the dive center left my mask with my prescription glasses inside. And so the fuzzy uh, shapes that I saw about 15 meters below me uh, that I knew to be a, a shark and, and actually I knew they were hammerheads because someone dove down there. I was not able to see they remain fun, fuzzy shapes, shark-like shapes to me. So uh, I've just had one look at hammer, hammerheads and since I'm not sure which kind it was, I'm going to speak to all um, the nine species of hammerhead today. As I um, said, there are nine species worldwide. Uh, a unique thing about hammerheads is that they school in large groups, sometimes hundreds of individuals. Their heads are called cephalofoils, um, and two of the species are listed as critically endangered by the IUCN. Um, hammerheads are, of course, unique named for their unique shape of their heads. Um, they are flattened and extended to the sides into a hammer shape. And as I mentioned, they are called cephalofoils. Uh, they are found throughout the world's oceans, but prefer warm waters, usually congregating along coastlines in shallow water. Um, some evidence points to hammerheads migrating, some species migrating to cool waters in the summer, um, but um, not much is known about that. Hammerheads range in size from the smallest species, um, the scallop bonnethead, which is uh, just under one meter and 92 centimeters or three feet to the great hammerhead, uh, which can grow up to 6.1 meters uh, or 20 feet and weigh 580 kilograms or 1,280 pounds. All nine species of, uh, all nine species of hammerheads um, have cephalofoils, uh, but they differ among uh, the different species of shark. The great hammerhead, has a cephalofoil that's broad and nearly flat across the front. Um, the scallop hammerhead is arched more and has a pronounced center notch. Um, the smooth hammerhead, as, um, as you would guess, is smooth. Uh, and the bonnethead cephalofoil is distinct from the others. It's rounded at the front and resembles a, a shovel more than a hammer. Um, the eyes of this shark are placed on the outer edges of the cephalofoil. This allows them a 360 degree view which means the shark's um, head is able to see both above and below quite easily, although there is a bit of a blind spot right in front of the head. It is thought that the shape of the head allows ha hammerheads to have more sensory organs. All sharks have electrical sensors in their nose and heads called the ampullae of Lorenzini. Um, these sensors can detect uh, weak electronic electric emissions from other sea life. Uh, and because cam hammerheads have these broad, flat heads, the ampullae are spread out over a greater surface area, uh, giving the shark the ability to cover more ground and sense its prey easier. It's also thought that these heads act a bit like a wing, uh, helping to create lift and, and making them efficient swimmers. Um, hammerheads are well known for their ability to make sudden and fast, sharp turns. Um, and not only um, does the the, the head act as a, um, an organ for balancing, um, but it also 
um, helps to 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 um, allow the the fish to twist and bend. A study in 2015 looked at the movements of great hammerheads and found that um, sharks these sharks spend about 90 percent of their time swimming tilted to one side, usually at an angle of 50 to 75 degrees. Um, it's thought that they they roll sideways. And the um, shark's dorsal fin, the fin on the back, acts like um, one of its side fins. Um, and this re reduces drag, allowing these to be very efficient, um, increasing wingspan, um, allowing these to be uh, swim more efficiently. So the, the design of the shark, although it's unique, is uh, efficient in finding food and for swimming. Um, hammerheads. Are a type of shark um, that cannot stop swimming um, or it will suffocate. They breathe using what is known as ram ventil ventilation, meaning when they swim, the shark rams water into its mouth, letting it flow over through a slit in its gills. This is an efficient way of getting oxygen, but it means the shark must keep moving. Um, and believe it or not, uh, one species of hammerhead also has the ability to sport a tan. Um, they're one of the very few animals who tan from the sun. Uh, this happens to the shark because hammerheads are often uh, cruising in shallow waters or near the surface for extended periods of time. And this hammerhead will, its skin will turn from a light to a darker color. Um, hammerheads eat a variety of things from fish, including other sharks and other hammerheads, uh, to squid, octopus, crustaceans, and one of their favorite prey, which is stingrays. One species, the bonnethead even uh, will ingest seagrass. In fact, it's found um, in large um, parts in their stomach. Um, they are able to digest it, making um, this species of hammerhead possibly one of the only omnivorous shark in the world. Uh, their unique heads um, are used as weapons, not only for sensing where the prey is, but they're also used for weapons when hunting. The hammerhead will use its head to pin down stingrays um, and eats the ray when it's when the ray is weak and in shock. So they'll find the ray using the sensory organs and then they pin it down on the bottom. Uh, hammerheads have smaller mouths um, compared to other sharks that are located underneath their head. Females give birth to between 12 and 15 live young, uh, with the exception that great hammerheads actually um, can give birth up to 20 or 40 live young. And perhaps one of the coolest things about hammerheads is that they school, which is uh, one of the things that I hope to see in the Galapagos. The scallop hammerhead um, schools sometimes with hundreds of individuals. Um, it is not known why they school. Um, young sharks probably travel in schools for mutual protection, but nobody knows why full-grown sharks uh, or the scallop hammerheads, um, which have very few natural predators, will school. Um, or congregate like this. Some schools they have found are exclusively made up of females, while others contain sharks of both sexes and different ages. Um, in adult groups, the fish uh, tend to disperse at night before meeting back up in the day. Um, these are phenomena that, that are witnessed in the Cocoa Islands, uh, in Costa Rica, and in the Galapagos, which I would love to see, but um, have been becoming less and less frequent, or I should say less and less sharks involved uh, because of one of the major threats to these animals, which is being caught. Um, the greatest threat is fisheries worldwide. Um, hammerheads are caught uh, legally and illegally um, for their fins. Uh, scallop hammerheads, the hammerheads that, that school in places like the Cocos Islands and Galapagos have uh, reportedly to have decreased 87% over a 15 year period at the end of the last century. Um, and these animals are caught um, for their fins in the fin soup um, or the fin industry. Uh, it's estimated uh, two species of hammerheads, uh, between 1.3 million and 2.7 million of these are caught every year, um, scalloped and smooth hammerheads around the world. And because of this, um, hammerheads, um, two species are now listed as critically endangered uh, the scallop hammerhead and the great hammerhead. Um, and I wanted to show this picture.
because if you've ever worried about um, seeing them and think they're big and uh, scary looking hammerheads, according to the international um, shark attack file, have only been recorded as attacking seven people over four, uh, sorry, 17 people, unprovoked attacks over four centuries, none of which were fatal. So these animals are relatively harmless. Um, they're big and cool looking and um, pretty amazing to see. Uh, I hope that one day I'll be able to see a scene like this um, if they're not all gone from these places or fished out. Uh, they're pretty amazing uh, animals and uh, I was fortunate to have a very quick look at them when I was when, when I was younger um, and I hope I'll have a much better look at them later on. So I'm about out of time. That's all for me today. Thank you for joining me. Hope you can join me again tomorrow for another cool marine animal I've seen. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a great rest of your day. Bye now.